Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can run multiple instances of Microsoft Teams at the exact same time. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that anytime I talk about Microsoft products. Why would you possibly want to run multiple instances of Microsoft Teams at the same time? Well, let's say that you're a consultant and you work across two different companies and you need to switch back and forth between your different accounts. With multiple instances, you could do that. Or let's say that you wanna join two meetings at the same time, or maybe you wanna monitor multiple channels at the same time. Multiple instances allow you to do that. Now, with the desktop app, uh, for Microsoft Teams today. Unfortunately, you can't launch multiple instances. However, I'm gonna show you a quick trick that allows you to run multiple instances at the same time. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, well, here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams, the desktop app, open. And so here I am. And typically what you would do, whether it's working with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other app, you could open up multiple instances by clicking on the taskbar, right clicking, and then clicking on the app again. And that would open up a separate instance. However, with Microsoft Teams, if I try doing that, what you'll see happens is it simply focuses on the existing Teams window that's already open. So the downside here is if, let's say I have two accounts and I wanna switch back and forth between them, well, what I'd have to do is I'd have to sign out and then I'd have to sign back in. Or let's say I wanna look at my multiple Teams channels at the same time, I can't do that, so I just have to keep jumping back and forth between them. There must be a better way. So what is that? Well, let me show you what we can do. So I'm gonna open up a web browser here and I'm gonna go to teams.microsoft.com and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna log in with my the same account that I have logged in on the desktop app and so what you could do is you could simply open up the web browser and then you could treat this as a separate instance of teams and you could use it alongside teams What's happened recently is Teams now has the capability uh, to basically be installed as a PWA. So you can install it just like a desktop app. And I'll show you how to do that. Now this will work in any Chromium based browser, whether you're using Chrome, whether you're using Edge, this will work for you. And so what you could do is up here in the address bar, you'll see this little plus icon. This allows me to install Microsoft Teams. Another way I could get to that too is I could click on the ellipses over here, and then there's an option here to install Microsoft Teams. This will install a PWA on my desktop. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go and click on this plus button. And now it asks me, do I wanna install? Let's go ahead and do that. So what's happened now, you'll see that this has now installed the Teams web app on my computer. And what I could do is uh, here I have the Teams web app and then I also have my desktop app and I could run them side by side. And so now here I could switch into a different account. Maybe I click into one Teams channel and then in the desktop app I click into a different Teams channel. Uh, or maybe I join one meeting here and I join another meeting here. So now I have uh, multiple instances of Teams open. Now by installing the PWA to my computer, you'll see one thing that happened here. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize these two windows. It's added a shortcut to my desktop. So now I could just click on this and this will open up the Teams PWA. So just a quick way to get to it. And what I can also do, you'll see here, this is now a second instance of it. So now I have three instances, including the desktop app. What I could do is if I right click on this, I could also go ahead and pin this to my taskbar. And so now I have two different entry points to Teams. I could click on my desktop or I could click on the taskbar here on the bottom. And so here you'll see I've got uh, two web apps. I also have the desktop app running. So regardless of how many different accounts you have or how many different meetings you wanna join or how many different channels you wanna monitor, you could open up as many instances of Teams as you want. All right, well that was just a quick tutorial of how you can open up multiple instances of Microsoft Teams. If you found this video helpful and you're now opening up multiple instances of Teams, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics you wanna to see me cover, any other questions you have, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well that's all I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.